My examples about connecting particles with the rough surfaces. So let us see this one. A mass masses of five kgs, three kilograms and two kilograms are connected as shown below. So here they are even sketching for you. The table is rough and when the system is ready from rest, it moves with an acceleration of 0.28 meters per second. Find the question of friction between the five program mass and the table. Okay, because they say the point of friction is already between two surfaces. That's why they're asking us this and the table. Okay, we start by resolving, I mean by indicating, I mean by putting in our forces. So this one first of all is going to have a weight, get a mass times gravity. This one is also going to have a weight. We get the mass times gravity. These are the lists you have to do. Also, this is going to be 5G. Of course, it's going to be having a reaction. So there is going to be a reaction there. Of course, now these two strings are different. So meaning they are going to be having different tensions. So tension, this one, we are going to call it T1 in string one. It's also going to be there because it's the same string passing over this clip. Now this one is also having a different tension in it because they are two different strings. Of course being this one, that these two are hanging and this one is way down. Of course you expect that you should move in this direction. So that direction is going to be in this direction here and this particle is going to be in that direction. Then in this one, our acceleration is going to be in this direction, at this mass here. So acceleration, by that it was given uh, 0 0.2. And it's in that direction. Then because this one is being pulled, this one will move up in that order. 0, our A, 0 0.28. So when we do that, now the table is rough. What are we missing? The only thing we are missing is, if it's moving in this direction, this one, because this one is one which is in contact, here we don't have friction and here because there is no contact between the surfaces. But here we have the contact between this mass and then the table. So because it's moving in this direction, then the friction is going to oppose. So it's always opposite to the direction of acceleration. So our friction is going to be in that order. So the rest are now okay. So now we want to get the coefficient of friction. Okay. So we start, the moment that we have friction, you start by getting R. So now we can resolve upwards. Like that. So what do we have there? Our R. Because there's no acceleration to in upward direction. So it means that these two forces are balancing. So our R is equal to 5D, which would be 5 into 4.9. Okay. 9.8. The D, 9.8, and when you multiply there, our R is going to be 49 Newtons. So now we have that like that. So after getting R, then we can come, we can start with the uh, N, but let us start with uh, this one here. Or we can start with this one, whatever. So let's start with these two forces hanging. So if we consider a three kilogram mass, where is the acceleration? Its acceleration is in this direction there. So know that R is out and force is always according to the mass times acceleration. You see in this direction, what is holding it is the three D. Then minus there is a force opposing which is the T one. Equal to two, the mass which is three, and the acceleration because acceleration is going to be the same, zero point two eight, zero point two eight, and from there you can every see that I can get my T one if I take this this side. I mean, this would be three into nine point eight. Then when I bring this this side into three, zero point two eight equal to T one. After that, you have to clear the subtract. Your T1 from here will be okay, 9.8 minus 0.28. Then times the 3. 
This is 28.56 newton. So I have my first question. Okay. I found 20 kilogram mass, the 2 kilogram mass. Where is the acceleration? You said the acceleration for it is going upwards there. So meaning the resultant force will also go in that direction. But given by mass times the acceleration using the second law. The second law. So what is pushing it up with this direction of acceleration? You see, what is pulling it us up is the, this T2. Our T2 now minus the one which is opposing, which is this, to be equal to the mass, which is 2 times 0 0.28. When I take this inside, so my T2 will be 2 into 0 0.2, 8, then plus 2 into the G, which is 9.8. So my T2 from here. This plus this, then you multiply it by 2 times 2. It's 20.16 newtons. Why do you think this station is bigger than this? Of course, because this one is carrying a bigger weight. Okay, so after getting the T1 and then the T2, we can every now come and then after getting all this, then we come to this first here the 5 kilogram mass. Where is this the acceleration, the direction? In that order. So acceleration is in that order there. That's where the acceleration is going. So it means our resultant force will be going to MA. Okay, so what is the result? So what is pulling it in this direction to the acceleration is T1. Then there is a force which is opposing T2. And then there is also a force which is opposing it in this direction, which will be F, so minus F, equal to the mass, which is 5, times the acceleration, which is so 0 0.28. This is the one which is pulling, but we have friction opposing, and we have it which is pulling in the opposite direction. That's why we are subtracting them from there. So from here, so that I can get my F, from there my F will be equal to, when I take it this side, I'll be having T1 minus T2, then minus, when I bring this this side, 5 into 0 0.28. So my friction is going to be T1, 5, 6, minus T2, 1, 6, minus, when we press this, Get 1.4. So my friction is going to be now seven. So here my friction is equal to seven. It is. So now the one need to get the coefficient of friction between that. So know that my friction is already equal to me. Ah, I want to have this, I have this. So this is 7 equal to me, which I'm looking for, then times 49. That's our me will be equal to 7 over 49. And that's all the only thing we want. Equal to 1 over 7, as simple as that. Oh, these are different speeds because it's a force. So that's how we handle that the mass. When you know how to press that, it will be very difficult. What is, most people, when they come to this force, they forget this F. Don't be one of them. Okay, so that's it. I wish you well. It has no limits.